Welcome back. The country's business sector has been under pressure and has been struggling to keep afloat. Level 4 lockdown regulations have played quite a role in this, but the recent unrest and looting in parts of KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng did quite a number on an already crippled economy. Chief Executive Officer from the Black Business Council, Hanke Matabane, joins me now to discuss this matter further, along with possible solutions to these uh, issues ahead of President Ramaphosa's address this evening. Hanke, always a pleasure speaking to you. Let's talk a little bit about the state of affairs on the political landscape and the economic landscape of our country. About 40,000 businesses uh, were lost as a result of the looting and the riots that happened over the past few weeks. 150,000 jobs are at stake. 50 billion rand in output has been lost. If we really have to look at the state of our economy, Hanki, what would you say to rate it? Evening Faith and the viewers, the, 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 the economy is in a in a, a, a yeah it's in a, in a, in a serious trouble. Uh, it has been like this even pre-COVID. So COVID made things worse. Uh, while we are still busy dealing with COVID and the, the looting happened. So so we 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 need to try as soon as possible to 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 to, to go back to the to the pre-COVID. Uh, economic environment and, and then rebuilt from there. Mm. But can we really go back to the pre-COVID um, environment? Because even that environment, Hanke, and I know specifically from the Black Business Council, it was lamenting about how a lot of the black businesses are not receiving enough support from government, that the barriers to entry are too high, the red tape is too stringent, and of course the costs of actually making it and succeeding in business is a high price to pay. So pre-COVID times, even for black businesses, has put a lot of the black businesses at a back burner, wouldn't you say? You're you, you absolutely correct. What, what we need to do uh, as a country, we need, to, we need firstly we need to focus because I have got the feeling that we, we are not necessarily focused on the right things. We, we need to focus on the right things. We, we, we should not then be saying we will create so many jobs, we'll create one million jobs, we'll create two million jobs. A, a, the jobs are a, an output of an exercise. They are, they are an outcome. They, they are not an input. So we, we need to focus on the input part. Uh, if we want to create jobs, we need to create industries and, and create businesses. So uh, jobs are an input, uh, an output of a enterprises and entrepreneurs. So, so I, I, I think as a country, that's where we, we should be focusing and say, how do we create entrepreneurs, how do you create uh, enterprises, and then how do we support them? Uh, and we, we, we all agree that we need to support small businesses. That, that has been uh, proven all over the world, that if you want to create more jobs, you must create small businesses. So how then do we create these small businesses? If we agree, for example, we say we want to create, a, for the next year, we want to create one million mm. small businesses. And then you know, some of them will hire, create employment two or three, ultimately we may then maybe create a, a two, three million. Yeah, but just uh, to interject by, there, by, 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 by supporting businesses, by, yeah. by funding them. But just to interject there, I mean, you're talking here about the creation and the support of small businesses. We know that lockdown regulations have had a significant impact on the very same small businesses that we're speaking of. Small businesses are struggling to survive under these lockdown regulations. So as you're saying about how we need to stop focusing on the right things, is a lockdown regulation at this point something that is feasible for the country, for the survival of this economy? Yeah, remember that the, the, the lockdown was a, a temporary solution to get the country ready for, 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 for COVID. And, and, and I think uh, we, we all know what has happened. We, we, we did not do the right things. The money for PPEs disappeared and, and, and all those type of things. Uh, if, if we had done it well, we wouldn't be on, on level four because the, the, the ecosystem will be ready for, for what's happening. The, the vaccines will have uh, come earlier, uh, and I think we have to comment, uh, government has been the, the, the acting minister, the vaccine is doing well. We're we we vaccinating almost close to 400,000 people a day, uh, which is good. We, we need to continue on, on that so that 
by by the end of the year we'll have vaccinated uh, uh, close to uh, 50 million people mm. uh, and, and and that because that is the solution that is the long term solution uh, the, the the vaccination one once we have vaccinated people we have vaccinated almost everyone we can then reopen the economy but when we reopen the economy we need to focus because if we are going to be as haphazard as we've been uh, we, we we are not going to solve the problem we, we don't want people coming and, and almost running the country through a public relations to say we'll, we'll create one million jobs this year next year they come again and say we'll create one million jobs but but there, there's no reporting process to come and say but what happened to those one million that you've promised and, and, and as I said, jobs are not supposed to be the focus. The focus should be the, 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 the input part, uh, which is creating empl uh, enterprises, creating entrepreneurs, and, and, and supporting them, give them uh, funding, give, give them a risk funding where if you lose it, you lose it. If you, if you, you don't lose it, you make it big, and, and, and then we, we, we grow the, 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 the economy. Because that's the only way uh, we, 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 we can at least go to pre-COVID and, and 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 also then grow, and, and 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 because also if you don't grow the economy, you are not going to create jobs. Uh, the, 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 the big businesses that are there, unfortunately, they are not likely to create jobs because they are saying the economy is stagnant; and it's not growing. Yeah. So so we need to do something to <clears throat> that will then uh, rejuvenate the economy and and and, and create jobs. Yeah, and then, I mean, right now, as I, as I say, uh, Hanki, if you were to give a yes or a no answer, can small businesses afford any more lockdown? Definitely they can't. They, they, they can't afford uh, any, any, any more uh, uh, level four restrictions. So I think we, we, we probably have to go to, 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 to a lower level where there will be uh, activities uh, because you, 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 you'll recall that there's always a balance between lives and livelihoods uh, because you, you also don't want to be reckless and, and, and reopen everything and then the, 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 the number of infections go up and then we, we lose control so there, there's that balance so we, 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 we need to look at the for example the taverns we need to look, really look at the, 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 the reopening of, the, of alcohol uh, because there, there are people who are 100% taverns dependent on, on, on the sale of alcohol. Uh, small <clears throat> restaurants are dependent on that. So we, we even if we restrict and say you can only sell from Monday to Thursday or something, but uh, unlike closing it completely because then people are, have, have got zero income. I hear you. Hank, we have to leave it there for this evening. But uh, from your ears or from your mouth to the president's ears, hopefully, and we'll hear exactly what President Sarama Pass has got in store for the country at 8.30 p.m. this evening. Hank